Well, hello, St. Mary's. Alexis Stuckey here, your fellow parishioner and volunteer with the top three things. There's actually a fourth that you need to know for this coming week at our church. So the first thing is that not this weekend, August 1st, but the following weekend, which is August 7th and the 8th, the blessing of the backpacks is back in person. And we're really excited about this because last year we did everything we possibly could to keep y'all safe. And we had a drive through blessing and it was awesome. But how amazing is it for us to be able to actually bless your kids and whatever it is that they take all their stuff to school in um, and our teachers within our parish and administrators to be able to bless you in person. So that's at all services the weekend of August 7th and 8th. So be sure that you bring backpacks, lunch boxes, string bags, briefcases, whatever your kids take all their stuff to school in. So we're really excited about that. That's August 7th and the 8th, so you don't wanna miss that. That's a great family weekend uh, to be in church, especially, you know, just giving them some extra love before they go to school. So the second thing is that on August 19th, Reverend Patsy is going to be hosting a Women's Day of Wonder, uh, which is going to run from 9.15 in the morning until 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and it's just a day-long women's retreat. So if you have any questions with that, or maybe you would want to be on a team and help her out, you can email Patsy. That's patsy at stmarys-stewart.org. And then the very last thing, well, the second to last thing. So the second to last thing, is on September 12th, which is a Sunday, um, we are going to begin a family Sunday fun day. So after the nine o'clock service around like 9.30, I think, um, we are going to have some activities for youth, children, women, men, almost like Christian ed for the family. So, but don't let the word family deter you if you don't have an actual family living in your house like we don't, um, because we still want you to be there. So it's a great way for us to all be able to get together, do some Christian ed, and um, there'll be something for all ages. So that's gonna be a monthly activity as well. If you have questions, you can email Reverend Patsy about that too. And then the last thing is something that I'm really, really excited about. So, I don't have a mock-up wristband on, but you know those like paper neon wristbands that you get if you go to like a water park. So we're going to be doing a prayer movement throughout the entire church beginning the weekend of the backpack blessing. So what you need to do right now is if you have kids or you have grandkids or you have nieces or nephews, I need you to email their first name and their grade or whatever their age is, like if they're two years old or if they're 22 because they might be in trade school or law school or nursing school, you're going to email those to Jeannie Dupel. She's the rector's warden at our church and she's amazing. So her email address is eg Dupel D-U-P-E-L-L, at gmail.com. That's egdupel at gmail.com. And then the following weekend, which is the weekend of the backpack blessings, so you have a couple weeks to get this done. We're really like 10 days. Uh, but the following weekend at all of the services, there will be a spreadsheet. So there will be names and a grade on there. And then your job is to come to church and get a wristband. So you're going to put this wristband on and you're going to put a name and a child's age or grade on there. So everywhere you go, that child is going to be with you and you're going to pray over them as they go back to school. So this is a church-wide prayer movement and we want no less than 100% of you participating. So that means if you go visit somebody and you are a lay Eucharistic visitor, take them one, put it on their wrist and bring them into this prayer movement with all of us as we pray over God's children. If you live up north, you can call the office and the office volunteers will drop one in the mail to you. So make sure you get those names in. If you don't, um, that's not a big deal. You can always add a child's name at the bottom if you have kids. So we're really excited uh, for this opportunity and we just want everybody to be praying. So it's a really fun activity to do. It incorporates all of you and what greater privilege is there for us to be able to pray for all of our youth and our kids as they go back to school. So those are the top four things that you need to know for the next week. So I'll be seeing you soon in church. Take care.